Welcome back to Smart Mouth Beauty. I'm Heather and this is my sister Holly. And today we have a review, if you will, of some skincare products that we tried. I surprised Holly a couple weeks ago. I went online to theordinary.com through, I think the, um, the parent company is the Abnormal Beauty Company. Yeah, yeah. Um, Decium, D-E-C-I-E-M. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct. Anyway. They have a very inexpensive um, skincare line that is you purchase products, serums and lotions and treatments um, by themselves. You're going to make your own cocktail. You kind of make your own skincare cocktail. Regimen. Skincare cocktail, which I've never purchased anything like that yes. before. I mean, yes. I've always been the, you know, I want one product to do all these wonderful magical things do and to, to do everything whatever and then you spend like a hundred dollars on a little tube like this and you think you're gonna wake up and you're gonna look you know 22 okay which okay I so think we first heard about this from wayne goss about a year ago wayne talked has talked about, about it. it and so is caroline Hi caroline hirons mm. yes um, yes funnily enough both from from england but they have both been talking about it and so i thought what the heck so I went on the website and you re you're reading all of these um, very technical names. It's very scientific. This is very, very scientific. chemistry based. Exactly. And it can be a little intimidating, it's but you're very intimidating because you don't know what the, or at least I don't know what the, what the words mean, what the names mean, what goes with what, when do I use it? How do I use it? What do I use it in combination with? And I was getting really confused. Their yes. website is, probably not the most user friendly. I looked at it's that. It's very stripped down. Yes. So their their money is not going into frills, a big fancy website or fancy packaging or anything like that, which I think is part of the appeal is that you, you know, cause you're saving money on buying the product. Mm -hmm. Very long winded intro. So I was confused. I knew that I wanted to buy something for, for me and something for Holly. And I discovered on the website down at the bottom, we'll, link everything down below but down at the bottom it had examples of skincare regimens like things that you might want to do yes. and one of them was um there was a regimen for dehydration a regimen for pigment pigmentation issues and just an overall um, general signs of aging so i texted holly one day i was at work she was at work and I texted her one day and I said, pick one. It was a trick Skin, question. It was a trick question because I wanted to surprise her and I didn't know which of these she would. But she literally, would want. out of general signs of aging, dehydration, or hyperpigmentation, she's like, pick one that you're that you that you want to focus the most on. And I'm like, yeah. That's a hard question because we want all of them. We, I want all of it. Right, because we all of that is. Uh, but I've concern. really had a lot of pigmentation on my cheeks mm -hmm. these past couple of years, so I thought let's focus. So she picked pigmentation. I picked pigmentation. So we went in. I went on the website, and it tells you what to buy for that recommended regimen, which I appreciate that they that they break because I would have never had any idea how to pick these. So I purchased four products. And I purchased her the identical one, so I got two of each of each of the four yes. products. Um, and it tells you what to use for the AM, your AM skincare, and for the PM skincare. So for the AM, for pigmentation issues, it said to oh. try the Alpha Arbutin two percent plus HA. Okay, um, serum. It's like a, it's a very liquidy. Oh, Holly, showing you. Okay. Also in the AM, you use another liquid called um, niacinamide, 10% plus zinc, 1%. It looks like that. That's a little bit milkier um, a little and a little bit, bit more, thinner. yeah, it goes, it goes a longer way, I've noticed. The third um, AM product is a cream. Make sure I got the right one. Yeah. The magnesium sorb how do you say that word? Asorbyl phosphate solution, ten percent. As you can see, these are these are chem it's very chem chemistry. Yes, it's yes. very chemically. Yes. Okay. Um, so you use those three products 
In the a.m. In the a.m. So why don't we go ahead and talk about our a.m. regime and then we'll go into what we purchased, what we got for the p.m. Or no, let's go on into the p.m. I'm very sorry. We're new at this. So the p.m. is you use again from the morning the alpha arbutin 2% plus HA, but then you use a different cream. It's the azelatic, azelatic acid suspension 10%, or you can purchase an advanced retinoid 2%. So I got the azelaic acid suspension. So four products, they're exactly the same. Yeah. I have them and she's got a set. For AM and PM. Yes. Skincare for hyperpigmentation issues. Yes. Talk to me. Okay. We have not. Uh, We've not clear, talked about this. I purchased these she online. She like bombed me with it about two weeks ago. I gave them to her. I told her I got the exact same thing. I had printed out for her how to use it, like yes. which to use in the AM, yes. which to use in the PM. Yes. And I've been out of town. So we have not talked about, about this with each other at all. So this is brand new information. So why don't you talk okay. to me about what you think? First of all, I just want to say I have been pretty dedicated about using the PM. Mm -hmm. And I've not been dedicated about using the AM. Why? Because I didn't like putting my makeup over it. Okay. It peeled. I noticed that too a little bit on my chin. That it's not that it peeled. It wasn't my skin peeling. It was the it was it rubbing balling. up. It was balling so up. So I, I thought used, maybe I used too much. I was using that oval brush to apply foundation, and it just was balling and off of me. So I was pretty annoyed with that. Um, I also want to just address because Heather throws a bunch of chemicals at me, and the scientist in me, I have to go and read for myself and investigate. Sure. So I just want to talk about something that I discovered on the website that made me put some breaks on using this because they actually have um, a disclaimer on one of the products that says don't use it in combination with the other product. Right. Bear with me. Okay. I didn't see that. I know. Because which is I followed the instructions that they get that they give. Which is why so I they're asked contradicting you. themselves yes. on their website. Yes. Oh. Because it's saying, and I'm wondering if this is why we're having a, a problem. Because it's saying, I have to go back to this list here, that um, there is a the, the niacinamide is a skin decongestant. So it's it's going to be a chemical exfoliant. But then, so that was in the AM. Wait, this is going to be a chemical exfoliant. Yes. It's a niacinamide. Plus zinc. Plus zinc, okay. That is a, a skin decongestant. But then the second step is that magnesium asorbol phosphate, okay? Uh -huh. That is a heavy antioxidant vitamin C skin brightener. Now, I'm going to read from the website. I'm just saying contradictions if a topical vitamin c is used as part of a skincare it should be applied at an alternate time with this formula the niacinamide vitamin c should be applied in the pm and this formula in the am so so here it's saying that that's part of your am res regimen do you see where I'm? Do you see? Where I I'm do, but confused? I don't understand why it, their website has contradicting information. I Did I type it wrong? I, I mean, I copied and pasted it, and then if you copy and paste, you got some copy paste skills. Go. I'm not questioning that. I'm just wondering because I had to find out for myself. Okay, what? Why is this happening on my skin? Why is this not a regimen that is complementary to um, makeup? If they're saying to use it on the AM, girl, you know we're gonna put makeup over that. So. I'm wondering if we should revisit this in a few more months <laughs> so that I could use the AM. Now, I do have a lot to say about the PM. Would you like to switch gears and go to the PM? I am not happy. I don't like that. Right? Okay, so I let's like visit. I know. That's what I'm, I'm here for because, you. Because of, of a web, I'm just going to stamp Heather's up on her soapbox now. Because if you're, you're going to have products like this 
that are confusing to most people. If you don't understand what these words mean and how they work together, I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a skincare expert at all. I'm an average consumer yeah. that's shopping on their website and I'm trying to educate myself. And so if they, I appreciated that they had suggested yes. regimes because yes. I wouldn't know how to pair. Yes, I wouldn't either. I'm with you. And I am they contradict with that. you. I don't like that. I am with you on it, but now yeah. I'm confused. I don't like and that. I just have to say it. I have to be, I'm honest with the kids and I have to say it. I have been happy with the PM. Oh. <laughs> this is my tooth. I don't like that. Oh, this is lame tooth. This is not even how this is controlled. This is controlled dude. Control, dude. I have been pretty happy with the with the PM. However, um, so the PM is that alpha um, arbutrin, which is the um, hyperpigmentation corrector. That that is what this um, serum is. So this is a hyperpigment. This is going to be your workhorse. This is the one that they recommended doing night and day. Mm -hmm. So this is the workhorse. So actually, in my thought process, if you were going to purchase just one thing for hyperpigmentation, it would be this. Although I'm very happy with the vitamin C brightener. I'm very happy. I've, I've talked about vitamin C serums mm -hmm. on this channel before. But this is going to be your workhorse. So I do enjoy it. It goes on really smooth. I take my makeup off. I cleanse my face. I, dry, I let my face air dry. Go into the bedroom. So this is at my nightstand. This goes on very well. I'm very happy. I concentrate this on my cheeks where I have a lot of skin, um, excuse me, sun damage, a lot of sun spots through mm -hmm. here, and then I put it over my forehead. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with that. The second step in the PM is that Isleic Acid Suspension, which I looked up, is, um, is gonna be your chemical is that right? Yeah. Your chemical exfoliant or brightener, which is in the retinol family. Mm -hmm. So any kind of retinol or retin-A or retinoid or is going to do a chemical exfoliation. That way, when you, when you wake up in the morning, you might have some little peely skins. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if you should be using that every single day. Mm -hmm. Usually with a retinol, I would want to do every other day. So the first couple of days that I like went at this, I did the first step and the second step before I went to bed. One night I went to bed and my whole face was very dry. So any kind of in the, that retinol family, it's gonna kind of like, mm -hmm. okay, cause it's mm -hmm. trying to exfoliate some dead skin. I was so dry within that first couple of minutes, I had to get back up and put my um, CeraVe on. Yeah, I did too. So, it's, yeah. and but that's okay. You can absolutely do that as long as you wait a few minutes. But I, I had to be like, oh, okay, so I gotta go put something else on it. But it was fine, and you can absolutely do that. So I've been very happy with the PM situation. But I'm confused and need to do a little bit more research on the AM. I'm not happy with it. Um, layering with the makeup and I'm not happy with that. I, I personally think that the vitamin C, which is that magnesium part, mm -hmm. should be in the evening. So we're going to need to do some investigation, but okay. So it's been a couple weeks. Have you seen any change in your skin? Absolutely. I haven't. Really? Yeah. I've been using this. I've been doing the AM I even kept the boxes and I had to write, look, AM and PM on the boxes because I couldn't keep it straight. It all looks exactly the same. I know. When right, I have my glasses I know, on, I, I real can't right, see. I mean, right, like, I'm right. Like, okay. And you just have this little cheat sheet carrying around. Right. I can't okay. even deal. So I had to, like, figure it out. Figure it out. So I have been doing the AM and the P. Here's the thing. In the AM, there's th the three products. Um,. My foundation does not go on well. So I've been doing the three products in the morning and then I'm still doing my CeraVe in the morning. Oh, uh, okay. And then I'm hitting it with the MAC yes. Prep and Prime yes. spray. And then I'm going in with my foundation. That's what I did today okay. to get it to work. Okay. Um, but then in the evening, the two products, um, Yes. To your point, it is dry. Yeah. It is dry. And I've had to go in with other products mm -hmm. to 
help balance to help it. But I, I have not seen any because I have some sunspots mm -hmm. over here um, that I've been trying to help, and then I have this big, big mamma one. jamma here. Have you tried to just spot correct? I that? have. I make sure you because you right have to be there. really careful about products like this near your eye. But this is right there, and I go in and I get it, girl. Good. Okay. Good. And I'm soaking that puppy, but it is not. I think I'm gonna need some kind of face transplant to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm, I mean, it's just not gonna go away. I have been battling this. You have, for 10 years. No, it's been 11 years. Mm -hmm. In 2006, before Aaron and I went on our cruise, our Mediterranean yeah, cruise, yeah, yeah. I had this um, burned. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, frozen. frozen, frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like a burn. Uh, frozen, and you know, the dermatologist was like, well, it's just gonna peel right off. She lied. So then I went back in. I'm like, it didn't work. She's like, oh, you're one of those lucky people who have hyperpigmentation. And I was like, mm -hmm. so any you're kind one of those lucky people whose bill I'm not going to pay. Been, right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> any kind of then trauma to that area is going to actually, your skin's going to try to repair and it's, it's going to get darker. Yeah. yeah. And so that's why I'm really careful about the that sun. area, about the sun, especially. Which, funnily enough, it's on your driver's side. Exactly. Have you seen that new photo that's floating around the internet of that truck driver after 47 years? No. And his, his it's it's this guy who's been a truck driver, and the side of his face that's near the window of the driver's side here in the United States, yeah. um, it is a vast difference between his right and the left side of his face. I notice that even on my arms, mm -hmm. you're like more starting friendly. to get like some liver spots. That ain't sexy. On that one. Okay. Arm. It's not on that so, arm. I'm just saying. Okay, can we, can so how do we wrap this up. I'm I'm I, I have some things that I love about it. I actually have seen a little bit of a lightning happening on these sunspots on this cheek. Um so I I'm actually gonna still use it, but okay. I'm still I am figuring too. out kind of how. Well let me ask you this. Have you referred to your book? The book. The book. No, but we'll we'll visit that. We probably need to look it up, and if we learn anything different, we'll put the comments As down a, below. A skincare, uh, cosmetic, um, chemical ingredient book. It's like a like a reference book. book. Yes. It's like a reference yeah. guide for yeah. um, chemicals. Really, really geek out about it. Okay. We'll look it all up. Which you know, and I thought that this that I, I think this is very interesting. I appreciate. Yes the science behind this. I purchased eight products for $40. Yes. Super, super It's super inexpensive. inexpensive. It's super affordable, but you still don't want to spend $40 if it doesn't work. I mean, I don't mind paying $40 yeah. if it works or if I understand how to use this right. and what combination. I think we need to revisit our combination, but I actually would love to give it another 30 days. Okay. We're going to follow Can up we on come this. back? We're going to follow up on this. We'll come and back. We'll look at the situation. We're do more research. <laughs> But this was like our first impression, yeah. and we have not We've talked not to talked. each other. She had no idea that I was about to like poo-poo the regimen. And I'm mad about their website for real. I'm gonna call them out. Didn't I'm gonna send just, them an email. No, just, they don't know who we are. Okay. But I'm gonna send them an email for okay. real. Okay. 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 Yeah. Have you tried anything from the ordinary line? Did you mix and match and just buy things that sounded like they were things that you needed to work on with your skincare or did you follow one of the um the, the recommended regimens which is contradictory to other things that say on their website i would love to know what your experiences are and we're going to get to the bottom of this we're going to figure it out and we're going to report back we'll see you next time bye, bye. thanks for watching that makes me so mad like i'm not even kidding i want to love this i want to do okay so i I can't just let you give me this piece of paper and be like, here oh, you honey, I know. I appreciate and that. like, oh, God. So I, I actually started using it, and I kept saying to myself, oh, I got to look that up. Oh, I got to look that up. Oh, I got to look I that up. Which I assumed that you would do. Only like three nights ago did I look it up because I, I was preparing for us filming today, and I was like, oh, my God, I have to look that up. And as soon as I found that, I was like, let me reread that again. Like, I had to, I went back and I wrote all this out. Like, sometimes writing things myself makes me understand it better. Okay. So, I was a little okay. shocked. We're going to refer to the book. Let's see what, let's see what they recommend.